it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today we are making an organic balloon photo frame selfie station. These are so much fun. People love taking pictures in them. They get together in the big groups and it's just lots and lots of fun. So sit back and I'm gonna show you how this is done. So you may see here that I have balloons of all different sizes here. Um, and that's kind of the whole thing with organic. That is both the challenge and opportunity when it comes to, the, to organic. So um, we're working with 11 inch and uh, five inch balloons. Some people also used to like to use nine inch balloons um, and you can certainly do that. Now for the base of the garland, I use 11 inch balloons, but those 11 inch balloons are all sized differently like this, as you can see. And we're gonna first of all make a garland, make the base garland for it. And either we could just pack it straight onto the frame or what we're gonna do is create a little garland first. And so what I have here is I have two 260s tied together and I'm just gonna grab one of my quads here and wrap it around, figure eight it a couple of times. And then I'm gonna stretch it around my hand. So, and, and using the floor or a chair or something as a counter pressure you know, make it tight until it makes noise, until you can play a song on it. And like I said, for the base garland, we want to keep the balloons like from the same size family, just because it's going to be easier to wrap them together. And then we're going to, later on, we're going to take and we're going to put all the little balloons into it. Okay, so we're just going to put one quad on top of the other, and in case you don't remember, to make a quad, you take a duplet, which is two, tie two balloons tied together, and you twist it, and there is your quad. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a couple of quads, and you see all we're doing is we're just putting them together, and then that's going to create our garland. See, just like that. So we went ahead and we uh, pre-did some garland, and um, in that way, we can just put it onto the frame and it goes a lot faster when we're on site. It also makes it easier to transport rather than trying to come in with bags and bags of uh, chaotic balloons. Now, these little ones, these ones we will bring in a bag um, because we're gonna be adding these in at the end. And we'll be using some of these as quads of five inches and some of them just for effect, we will be m matching with the 11 inches and making odd really odd size quads. Um, and some, some of them we may tie in just even as duplets. So that's, uh, we'll get to that later. But first I made, uh, we, we recorded a little video of inflating the balloons to different sizes. We use um, what I call a bucket. The important point is that you're using an inflator that is not automatically sizing the balloons. Because in this case, you know, get your five-year-old, tell your five-year-old, hey, you inflate the balloons and I'm going to tie it because it can be really challenging to not make the balloons all the same size. So this is actually a place where those non-balloon people who are like, hey, can I help you? You're like, yes, you blow up the balloons. So uh, anyways, here's the little video. We'll show you real quick. have is we've got our frame and we are using some uh, lamp poles for this. If you are doing this outside, I absolutely do not recommend using the lamp poles. You want to make a solid frame that's using at least a two by two base plate and pole. So go check out my video on how to make a balloon column frame and do it that way. But since we're indoors and we're just doing it for the video, we are just using the lamp poles. And so what we have here is we have six sections and then we've got a piece of PVC. They come in 10 foot lengths. I've just had it cut in half to make a top and bottom that are five feet each. Down here we've got a T connector and up here we have an elbow connector. I'm using half inch EMT because these poles are so thin, but if you are making your own column frames, according to my video, then you're gonna wanna use three quarter inch PVC 
because you'll be put, placing it over a half inch um, rod, a half inch pole. So um, just keep that in mind that it makes a difference what size your pole is, whether you're gonna wanna use the half inch PVC or the three quarter inch PVC. I cannot stress enough how important it is to like really, really, really tape it down. I mean like, like go nuts with it, okay? All right, so here we go. We've got, we've got our garlands and we probably strung these together a little bit long, but that's okay. And so all we're gonna do is just kind of put these on. So we already strung them together and now all we've got to do is just kind of like, just push it down onto the frame and secure it in place. So I know there's a lot of mess here, so maybe you're not seeing what I'm doing so much, but I'm just literally pushing it down onto the frame and then I'll take some 260 pieces and tie it in there or I'll rotate the balloons around each other to lock the pole in place. So something about the frames that's pretty important is obviously you want to make sure that even if uh, you've got tall people, um, that, they're <laughs> that when they're standing in the frame, they'll be in frame. <laughs> so you do want to make sure that you do it tall enough, you know? Don't do a five footer unless you're doing it just for kids. So now we've got top and bottom. Now I personally like kind of monochromatic color schemes best, um, or, or at most a dual scheme. Here we're going with kind of the corals and the reds and the nudes, the, the peaches. Um, I've seen it where wildly different colors were put together and looked great. It's really to taste, as you can imagine. And let's get this guy. <laughs> There, so I was just twisting a couple of those quads on the top around each other so that it would lock it in. And now let's continue going up the side. Here we have the baseline of the frame, and now you're gonna kind of massage it. You can kind of look at it and go, okay, I don't like this one here, so I'm gonna pop that one and replace it with a different color, something like that. Um, and then in a minute, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna embellish it with the five inchers. But just for a moment, I wanna take a second and let's talk about the origin of this organic texture. The trend started with a piece that was done by the house that Lars built, and that's what made it become really big. Um, there's another company called Geronimo Balloons who's been doing these gorgeous art installations, you know, crawling up a building. And then actually the term organic was coined by a woman named Raquel Porter, who owns Balloon Splendor out of Seattle, Washington. And so so she called it organic because it kind of came up from the DIY crowd rather than, you know, coming out from the balloon professionals. And then, you know, we of course looked at it and said, oh look, <laughs> we're not going to glue and tape and staple our balloons, we've got other ways to do it. So, uh, you know, we've all developed these other methods. So that's kind of the history of the organic trend, if you will. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we've got all our little 5 inches here, our variable size 5 inches. And we're gonna take them and we're gonna make some quads. And the other thing that you need, really important, is we need some 260s. So I'm just gonna take these and I'm going to be cutting them in half, these 260s, or approximately half. It doesn't have to be exactly half necessarily. Just like this. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put them in my pocket where I will find them later when I do laundry. Just kidding. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our half 260 and we're gonna take one of the nozzles of our little odd sized quad and we're gonna tie it. And then we're gonna take another quad, odd sized quad. And now this is a place that for a little bit more depth, a little bit more variability, you can mix your sizes. Okay, and so we're just gonna take this and we're going to tie it to the other side. So what we have here is like a rubber band with the two quads on it. And then we're simply going to put it in and massage it so it looks good. And then we're just gonna keep going all over and doing that until the whole thing is filled and looks full and really great. 
So um, I'm gonna invite my assistant Mary on set and uh, yeah. Okay, so you see we've just uh, done it a little bit. We could keep adding and adding and adding. Um, something really popular for embellishments is you can go get silk flowers and stick them in the crevices. You can get green vines and, and you know lace the greenery through it or lights. Um, again, for the video, we want to give you the concept. And I know you guys are super creative, so you're going to have no problem embellishing and adding to it. But here you go. This is the organic photo frame, the organic texture uh, selfie station photo frame. I hope you like it. Now this is in the DIY Balloon Bible Themes and Dreams, so if you wanna see it in a written format, uh, that's available on Amazon, as are my other DIY Balloon Bible books. Go ahead and click the like button, give me some love, let me know that you liked it. Leave me a comment, what else do you guys wanna learn? You have been asking for this, and so here it is. And also, of course, subscribe to my channel and tell everyone you know that they should subscribe to my channel and that they should tell everyone they know to subscribe and so on and so forth. Until next time, go forth and balloonify!